Welcome back everyone to another episode of Command Center, where we'd like to put our favorite commander, maybe even yours, front and center. And you know we can't do that unless we're playing those three letters, E, a D, and an H, spelled E-D-H. What does that mean? How do can't? I'm going to be nice today because it stands for an enriching deep hug. We gonna hug you. We gonna hug the crap out of you. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gonna take it easy today. Calm down. Calm down. But yeah, we're gonna be nice today. Okay. And how are we gonna do that today? So it is kind of a hug. It's it's a lion hug though. So just you know, you might get hurt a little bit in the process, but it's still a hug. And we're talking about Maurice Breaker of the Coil. Now I don't know what coils this Maurice's breaking. I really don't even know what a coil is. That doesn't matter. We got a big cat Worm that coil? is just. Maybe it's destroying worm coil engines. I don't know. Maybe if, if, if that brings down the price of worm coil, I'm cool with that. Break all the coils you want. But Marisi seems crazy. So basically what Marisi lets you do is it's one in Naya for a 5-4 cat. And Good. the first, you already right there is a 4-mana 5-4 big cat thing. What else? I, I love cats, so that's cool enough already. Uh, Kimba's always been a cool fan of mine, but here's my question. Yeah. What makes this kitty so special? Oh, it's got some stuff for it. Now, the first ability is kind of strange. It just says your opponents can't cast any spells during combat. Any so, combat. So, this is like Bassandra. I, I like Bassandra personally. People don't like Bassandra. <laughs> Bassandra says that no one can cast spells during combat, mm -hmm. but I like that it says your opponents can't cast spells. Because mm -hmm. I like to do some janky stuff during my combat. That's right. Oh, yeah. Combat tricks. Mm -hmm. Combat, it's going to open the door for combat tricks, and on top of that, it makes people show their hands. People can't wait for removal and be like, oh, you're declaring attackers, all this type of stuff, I'm going to do this. They need to show their hand before combat starts, or else they're just out of luck. That's right. But the second ability is what I really love, <clears throat> and it says whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you get to goad all creatures that they control. Now, if you're not familiar with goad, it basically means every one of those creatures has to attack, and it can't attack you. This is this is great because nice. not only does it solve the problem of creatures trying to attack you with swing back, it's killing everybody else in the process. So there's a whole lot of ways to take this. I think you can have some flexible builds. What I want to do is I want to have the weirdest combination of a token group hug deck possible. I want to flood the board with tokens, poke everybody, and just make everybody go crazy swinging at each other, give them all the resources to do so, sit back, and then use what Naya can do to take everybody out in the end. That's right, baby. We politicking. Hey, yo. Oh, yeah. I heard that dude talk crap about you. He said, your eggs taste like garbage. That's right. We politicking, baby. So how are we doing that? <laughs> so we're going to do this a lot of ways. The first thing we want to do in this deck is we want to be able to protect Marisi. We want Marisi to be able to do stuff for us. Okay. So if you if you got any swords, you want to put all the swords you can on this thing. Get protection from every color you can. Just slap it on. Because mm -hmm. Marisi can do the combat damage itself. So if it's got protection from whatever you want it to and you hit somebody, you're still getting the goad. Also, more budget and stuff I might actually prefer would be stuff like Whisper Silk Cloak. Oh, yes. Okay. Something like Trailblazer's Boots. Stuff that's going to give it unblockable to guarantee the damage in. Nice. So that's some stuff to protect it, get damage in. Even my favorite land, Rogue's Passage. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I tap four and I'm getting in. That's right. Yeah, and people don't run enough land destruction, as I always say, so that's always going to stay. So you get this whole engine going with your commander. The next thing you want to do is basically... Help everybody out. You want to be everybody's friend. You want them to be able to play big threats. So rights of flourishing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's drawing extra cards, ramping harder. Give everybody a howling mind. Let everybody draw all the cards they want. And then you do what Naya does best. You just puke tokens onto the battlefield. We got Hornet Queen, a bunch of flying death touch things that you just go and poke whoever you want. Everyone's attacking everyone. How about we put it in a blade of selves in there so I can just swing at everybody. Oh. Make everybody go to everybody. That's the myriad ability, right? Get some. Yeah. yeah. Then it's attacking per opponent. So you already, the more people you can poke, the better. So that's already crazy. And you're going to be running parallel lives. You're going to be running anointed procession. If you happen to, if you want to mortgage your house, you can go get a doubling season mm -hmm. and throw that in there too. And just hold on, <laughs> hold on. I gotta pay for gas and electricity. I don't think I can afford a double season. But there's a couple other combat tricks in that I like to apply to too. Because it sure. does say opponents can't cast spells during combat. And they can't. Well, they? a couple things I like to feature, especially on it. Oh, he was like, shh, silence. That means opponents can't cast spells, period, this turn. So they can't even start to begin nothing. That's right. Be quiet. You sit still and you let this happen. <laughs> Another one is, um, I'll put we'll put the card up here, but it's the one that says you 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 lose a combat phase. Um, you lose a combat phase. You don't you you skip your combat phase. Seems interesting. 
So basically, you kill their combat so that they can't hit back. Cut off one side, show favoritism, let the other side beat them. But then you always hold that backup plan. Mm. That's right. But then we got to get to, so once, if everything gets going, we get all these tokens out, we protect our commander, everybody's smacking each other in the face. What's the best thing to do when everyone's smacking each other in the face? So we want to watch the world burn as we sit back and laugh. <laughs> exactly. So we're running Impact Tremors, we're going to run War Storm Surge, we're going to run Perforos, and just burn everyone to the ground. And when they try to turn back and swing at you, the, I don't know how Goad works, if it's brain control, maybe you got rabies from the Catman or whatever it is, <laughs> but you're burning the world, and while they try to swing at you, they're just, they're compelled, they end up swinging the other way, and you just get to laugh. You just sit back you and get you get a know, little deviant. I, I kind of am. It's <laughs> kinda, said, uh, like, I'm kind of enjoying it. You said peripherals and impact I'm trying to break some coils. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to do it, and this is how, this is how I'm going to break my coils. <laughs> All right, man, we try not to get knifed in the parking lot. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is the first deck. Derek's gonna play with white in it, and he's going crazy. Yeah, I can't. It's so hard. I I try so hard to put white in the deck. This might be the one to get me to do it. What can okay, I put in it? I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you out right here. Okay. Divine visitation. Now, as we go forward, as we proceed to give you what you need, divine visitation says that all your tokens. If, when they come into play, they will come to play as four four angels. So that Avenger Zendikar just filled your board up with enough. Flying angels to not only goad everybody, but you can just murder everybody at that point. That is true. That is true. Uh, anything else? So I really think the other thing that you might want to try in this deck that you want to find a balance are protective type effects. So you want like ghostly prison type yeah. effects. Mm -hmm. You want things. You don't want to go too prisony and just not because you want people attacking each other and killing each other. But you want to tax people from attacking you. So ghostly prison is a great example of that. There is a card. Oh, what the card is called Tyrant of the yeah, I think uh, Kazul, Kazul. Ty Tyrant of the Cliffs. Yeah, so Kazul Tyrant of the Cliffs is exactly th thank you because I could not think of Kazul. Good old Kazul, my buddy Kazul, is basically a better ghostly prison. You get these type of effects where people pay you, they gotta pay mana, and if they don't, you even get more resources. Yeah, this type of stuff, smothering tides, another example. Oh, God. basically, you want all these cards that when your opponents are doing stuff, you're getting benefits. So you literally just get to sit back, watch the world burn, and just basically count your money. And get everything set up for whatever that because when one person's left, gold won't work anymore. Yeah. So you want to be able to have everything built up in a way that it won't matter. When there's that one person, there's not much left of them. Sometimes you might get that one person who roused the villagers around and say, he's the real threat. That's when you spike them. You spike them with everything that you have. You call upon Zeus and say, you dare try me? Get out of my car. Go get go get the walking. That's what blade steel is for. <laughs> it doesn't even synergize. That's what Blight Steel is for. Get out your car and get ran over. All right. I think we should cut it off here. <laughs> we're, 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 I think we're becoming psychopaths. We're getting, too right. excited. We're getting a little too worked up here. All right. Uh, please, like and subscribe. Comment. What are some things that you feel like uh, Marisi absolutely needs to make sure that the world's going to burn? Uh, I'm loving the fact that if a cre if just one creature touches oh, them, so all of their needs. stuff is golden. It's a better Bassandra. It's a better Grenzo. How do they do this? Why yeah. do they do this? I, I love it, and it seems fun. Yeah. Also in the comments, let us know what coil is being broken. Yeah, please. I really want to know uh, this. Is it like a... Is it something on his arm? Is it, is it shackles? What's, I, it, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. He has uh, a, he's posing in a certain... I don't know. I, I don't it's. know. It looks like Tony the Tiger just roided up. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, oh, like, sorry. Uh, uh, chain to a damn rock. I hate that car. But yeah, it goes in the <laughs> Chain to a damn rock. Chain yeah. to a rock. Uh, like I said, like and subscribe. Comment below with things that we asked you about. Consider becoming a patron of ours if you like what we do. Check out our Patreon link below in the description. See all the goodies that we have to offer. This week, we are in... Vegas. Yes. Because GP Vegas is, is here. And there's also a buffet. Wait, that's not why we're going? Never mind. We're yeah. going for GP Vegas. That's right. Playing Commander every day, all day, as long as they allow us. All right. By the way, we're <laughs> trying to get our boy Derek a soul ring. Let's try to make that happen. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see you in Vegas if you're coming. But until next time, peace.